Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shannon Nez, and on my channel, I like to do cooking vlogs, um, you know, just regular vlogs, I guess, everyday vlogs. But today, I am bringing a a vlog that I did a while ago, and it was frozen burritos. It is a quick and easy recipe that I recorded a very long time ago, probably like last summer. But anyways, I had it downloaded on my computer and I couldn't edit it because it was so slow, it would take forever. But anyways, I got that storage situation taken care of. And so today I edited it and I hope you guys like it. Um, the only thing that took a long time was my beans. So it's a quick and easy Mexican recipe, I guess. Um, it's nothing authentic, so yeah, it's not authentic. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe. And Hey guys, so I'm going to make some beans. Just regular beans for a side dish. So in here I have two cups of pinto beans, washed and picked through. Okay. And in here I have a tablespoon of granulated onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, three teaspoons of chicken bouillon. And I'm gonna mix it in now because if I don't, it doesn't really mix well. So, And then I have one bay leaf and another four cups of water. So now I'm going to go to pressure cook and I'm going to add on I'm gonna do 40 minutes because I like my beans kind of mushy. So if you just like kind of like beans with a little bit of a um, bite, 35 minutes is pretty good, but I like 40 because I like my beans mushy. There we go. And I don't have to put it on ceiling because it already has one right here. And um, this went through the garbage disposal. So I'll see you guys back here in about 50 minutes. So my beans are done and I am doing a quick, I press the button for a quick release. There it is. This one. There they are. Look at that. Oh, they look amazing. Okay, so here we go. There's our bay leaf. Now I'm going to take some out and do a little taste test. So I have to put it on for another 15 minutes. Did I put 15 on there, Chips? I don't know. I don't know, but about 15, 20 minutes. Because the beans are a little hard. So I'm assuming that these beans might have been a little old, but it's okay. 15 more minutes. So I'm going to make some knockoff burritos. So I'm gonna put this at the bottom. And I got this. And I have these. These burritos, these are our favorite burritos. We've been using these for forever. So, hopefully they all fit. I've never made this dish before. But... Okay, they just about fit in there. And then, I'm going to pour this on top. Some cheese. I don't have any other cheese. I'm gonna put this cheese on top. I hope this is good. I've never had it before, but I wanted to try it for a while. Roland don't really like cheese, so I'm gonna put a bunch of cheese on this side. This is my side. And I'm going to go to 400. This air fryer saw some better days. Um, I'll do 20 minutes and see what it so here's the cheese I'm using. I didn't even know they had this available at Walmart. Okay, so I put it in there for 20 minutes in the air fryer at 400 degrees. And my cheese is a little bit crispy on top, which is fine. Um, I might add some more on there just to make it. But this is salsa spicy. I think it might be a little too spicy. So I'm making 
this Mexican style rice and street corn. So I found this at Walmart and it only cooks in 90 seconds. So let's give it a try. It says to break it up. So I'm gonna break it up. So I broke it up. So it says to put it for 90 seconds. Okay, it's in there, stand it up. 90 seconds. Okay, this is Roland's plate. I always give this plate to him. I let it cool off, as you can see. Ah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna plate Roland beans. So here's the rice. And there's Roland's dish. How is it, babe? But it was June this year when the near dead of the state 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 of the um froze like a wet burrito thing um so we both had it and i found it a little tangy and it was that salsa i used so i, th I think i don't know i guess i really don't care for tomatilla salsa maybe just green chili hatch green chili or something else but the tomatilla salsa is too tangy anyways so that's what we thought about that so the next time if i ever ever make it again i'm probably gonna just use the regular red enchilada sauce so yeah that's what i thought about the frozen burrito hack and we had that corn what do you think about that corn corn i mean that rice <laughs> oh yeah rice is all right that rice was okay i didn't mind it either and it was only made in like 90 seconds so it was already done and since it's just me and Roland, that basically the only ones that eat the Mexican rice. I thought that was pretty good. So yeah, that's what we thought. Hope you guys liked it.